Ohio has often been described as a model of the United States. And the United States is made up of cultures from around the world. Now, if you take a look at some of the towns that you can find in Ohio, you'll see that in a manner of speaking, Ohio is also a pretty good sampling of the entire world. I'm Dan, and I'll be your tour guide as we travel around the world in Ohio. Are there many English-speaking residents here in Moscow? Are there many English-speaking residents? Yeah. <laughs> Quite a few. Really? We are in Washington Township, but we are a village. Okay. And this aerial photo generally shows the general area. This is the Ohio River, which is on the, the one side of the village, and this is the hills of uh, the Ohio Valley. Uh, here is our village. Uh, we have approximately 300 residents in our village. How did the town get the name of Moscow? It was named Moscow by some Frenchmen who had served under Napoleon at the siege of Moscow. And when he was finally exiled, they were in fear of their lives. They fled to the United States and settled in different areas. And this is one of the places where they purchased land here in 1816. Was there a main industry associated with this as, as a stop? In the Civil War, they, they uh, made ammunition here and they shipped things on the river. The steamboats were repaired and built here. And of course, anything dealing with the river trade it was a very prominent town in the days of the steamboat industry. We're right outside Moscow, Ohio, at the feed mill. We're getting ready for the main course now, which is Ohio. Thank you. I am stuffed. We had, in 1997, one of our uh, more recent floods, mm -hmm. and a majority of the homes in the village were flooded. They had anywhere from zero inches up to four to five feet of water in their homes, depending upon their location. So in the spring, uh, when it starts to rain a little bit, does that make people nervous? People have learned to accept the floods in a lot of respects. Uh, the old timers for uh, my generation, we just took floods for granted. We knew the water's coming up. We knew what we were going to have to do. But today, uh, they have this opportunity to move their houses above the 100-year flood plain. Now, um, there's a couple of uh, important houses that um, I understand are part of uh, Moscow, Moscow. Mm -hmm. um, one of them is the Spate House. What's yes. What's the history behind that house? Spate House was the second house built in town, built late in 1817 by John Payne. And in later years, it became a, a center for people on the uh, steamboats. And the upstairs was used for gambling, card games and all that, and there was some cheating that went on, people owing each other money, and there were uh, several killings up there. They could sleep on the pool tables, they could sleep on the uh, card tables, what have you. You slept on a table, it cost you 50 cents to spend the night there. If you slept on the floor, it cost you 25 cents. I had also heard that there was a few important notable visitors in, yes. in the Spade House. Yes. Uh, uh, Andrew Jackson had been here, uh, Henry Clay, John Quincy Adams, Marquis de Lafayette, and uh, Louis Philippe, the King of France. And there's another house that's associated with the Underground Railroad? Yes, the Fee Villa. Mm -hmm. The Fee Villa was the first house built in town, built early in 1817 by John Payne again. And it was uh, owned by the Fee family. Uh, some of the members, Robert and William Fee, mm -hmm. they became very staunch abolitionists. And their home was used as a station on the Underground Railroad. And it was very vital because this, for many of the slaves crossing the Ohio River, this was their first stop from into free territory. And the manacles or shackles or handcuffs, whatever was taken off of them. So it was a very vital place. Right up the street from Moscow is another place that you won't want to miss. It's the birthplace of a very famous Civil War general and a president of the United States. Of course, Ulysses S. Grant. This town has been left untouched in many ways. And no um, you know, urban sprawl out here, and it's got a great history and much of it's still standing today. It's, I, I, this is one of my favorite parts of the county to come down and talk about uh, because it, you can still picture a lot of the history today. Richard Crawford gives tours of Moscow and other points of interest in Claremont County, including a tour of haunted sites in Moscow and the surrounding areas. For more information about any of these Ohio towns, or to let us know where else we should visit, go to ohiochannel.org. You can also visit Ohio Travel and Tourism.
at ohiotourism.com or call 1-800-BUCKEYE.